Hey, 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 Scorpio, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your reading. So this is going to be a reading for my Scorpios. Oh, sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Scorpio, if you would before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Make sure that you're utilizing the link in the description box, Scorpio, as there are scammers about the community. And know that you will always see my face in a reading if you order one from me, as well as receive an unlisted link that you can utilize forever here on YouTube. Don't forget to comment. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. All right, let's get to it, Scorpio. Your overall energy is the Four of Cups. Your challenge is the Innocence of Wands. You have the Three of Swords, the Two of Wands, and the Magician. Hmm. Interesting. I feel, Scorpio, that you manifested something, but now that it's, it's like you manifested this cup. See the cup behind the panda? That's the Ace of Cups there behind the panda that's not looking at what he or she manifested. Why? Because perhaps it didn't manifest the way that you thought it would. Right? And you're just disappointed. So you, there's a shift of perspective that's needed here. And that's why the Innocence of Wands is your challenge. This is a very optimistic card. This talks about um, good news. This talks about, you know, seeing the forest through the trees, getting excited for the next adventure ahead. That's your challenge. So you've been hurt, and this is possibly why you're in this Four of Cups state. I do feel you want love because you manifested it, right? This love, we're going to clarify, because the Two of Wands is moving. So it's interesting that this is here. Somehow you're going to see this, this cup some way, because somebody's moving, either moving towards you or you're moving towards them. All right, tell me about the Four of Cups. Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, this is actually your fate and you're not seeing it. Eight of Cups. Oh, you Ace of Pentacles. This is an opportunity, okay? I'm hearing Divine Union from the Wheel of Fortune. There is something you need to walk away from. Let me see. Is it you that needs to walk away or they? Ace of Wands. All right, it's the attitude, the perspective that needs to be walked away from. Because notice, clarifying it is the Ace of Wands. It's shifting your perspective so you can take action on this offer here because it is an opportunity. It is divine. Wheel of Fortune is divine. Wheel of Fortune is fate. All right, let's get a kipper. Let's get a kipper. Oh, thief, you don't trust. You're not trusting. Probably because of this Three of Swords energy. Mature woman. So that's either you or this person. There could be an age difference here. Thoughts and house, stability. So you're thinking about this, but you're also putting in the mix this distrust. And this distrust, I feel, is based on this past love. Hmm. All right, let's see. Let's clarify your challenge. Innocence of Wands. Tell me about the challenge. Temperance. Heart of Wands and Spirit of Cups. Oh, sorry, Heart of Cups. You know, with all of these 
this is interesting with all of this innocence of wands this heart of cups and this heart of wands i'm getting a six of cup vibe and the six of cup vibe is very childlike it's this childlike wonder it is positivity it's Mm, taking love at face value and not being afraid to be vulnerable. It is vulnerability. So your challenge is also to be patient with yourself, with others, with the situation. Perhaps you're waiting for this and you, you feel like it's not coming in a timely manner. So Spirit is saying be patient because this patience will pay off. Okay, and while you're being patient, try to maintain balance of the masculine and the feminine here. Let's get a kipper. Yeah, distant horizons. So that's seeing the positive. This is what you've been waiting for. Ironically, you need to be patient, but it's what you've been waiting for. But that's your challenge in seeing that, seeing it because you're not, you, you need to turn around. Shift your perspective. Tell me about the Three of Swords. Okay. Seven of Wands. Yeah, see, that's blocking energy. You're blocking people from your heart. Movement of cups. Okay. And get one more. You're trying to move your emotions around. You're trying to do something with your, your heart. And I feel you're getting stuck. You're getting stuck. It's, it's what I'm feeling is your heart is shifting, shifting, shifting perspective, shift, 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 not finding a place to rest. And that's that blocking energy. It's because of this feeling of distrust and uh, defensiveness, innocence of cups and the devil. Yeah. So this is fear. That's what I'm feeling. Fear of being vulnerable, of opening up your heart here. And that's why the seven of wands. Another kipper on this. Nope, note two. Expectation and courtship. Expectation. That is why the Four of Cups. I don't know what you were expecting to show up. Maybe it's in the how, not so much the who. In the how, like, no, you know, step to me differently. I don't know, something like that. But you got to check your ego on that because is it your ego that wants it or is it truly your heart? Right? So ask yourself that question. That would be looking at this devil energy, right? This fear, but also the shadow self. Tell me about the two of wands, patterns of behavior, right? So we've got the seven of cups. You get a lot of options, shit. <laughs> That's why the fool. It's like, I, I feel like you have all these options, Scorpio. People keep stepping to you. And look, the Ten of Cups. People, people keep stepping to you and you're just like, no, no, you know, next, next, next. And then I feel it just became or will become a pattern of behavior. You're just so used to it, it, expecting the worst or expecting uh, what you want not to show up that you're not even giving it the time of day. Hence the confusion. See the cloud around the giraffe, his head. But if you let the past go and move beyond it, your Ten of Cups is here. You take that leap. You've got to take a leap. You take it on yourself. Take the leap on yourself. Because if you don't believe in yourself, who will? All right. Main female, connection with your feminine energy here, with your intuition, and that's what you need to follow. It's going to combine well, actually, with the fool energy, because that is fire. So it's like water and fire, right? A nice balance. Tell me about the magician. Ten of Pentacles. This is 
you manifested the Ten of Pentacles and the freaking Ten of Cups. Oh boy, Seven of Swords and Six of Wands. Why is the Seven of Swords? Nine of Pentacles. Spirit of Wands. Once you see this love for what it is, once you know which love is for you, you're going to want to try to like hold it close and run. Like, okay, I, I found it. So let's, let's run away. Let's, you know, ignore these five swords in the background. Let's just go and ignore this is communication this could be communication from spirit your higher self not not looking at everything that you need to look at before you know this is sort of paranoia it's fear it's based out of fear fear that something's going to go wrong somebody's going to fuck it up so let's just go let's ignore the five of swords let's ignore you know the shit that i have to deal with okay don't ignore communication speak your mind here speak to especially to this person okay and the ten of pentacles is commitment is marriage is everything that you want is abundant you may already be abundant because i am feeling that why are you all up in your head is it it's like you don't believe it you don't believe it you have to believe change you're fixed so that could be it but i feel more it's fear it's fear fear of change possibly okay let's get some divine dog wisdom but you need to trust yourself Scorpio. if you know you got to trust issue trust yourself first and then go from there some divine dog wisdom wild dog answer the call answer the freaking call okay Celebration, acknowledge your victories and boundaries. Stay in your own business. Okay. So remember the strides that you have made, Scorpio, in all aspects of life, in work, in love. Okay. And be concerned with yourself rather than trying to avoid looking at yourself by looking outside of yourself at somebody else. Okay. And that is boundaries because you don't learn anything from that. All right. All right, Scorpio. I hope that resonates. Please drop a like below, share and subscribe if you already haven't, if you're interested in a personal reading. That way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Info is down in the description box below. Make sure that you're utilizing the link in the description box, Scorpio, if you are interested, as there are scammers about the community, and know that you will always see my face in a reading if you order one from me, as well as receive an unlisted link that you can utilize forever here on YouTube. Don't forget to comment. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Have a fabulous day and I will catch you on the flip side, on the dailies, namaste.